enforced. Thank you very much. Thank you, Representative Hinchy. Senator Coates. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, um, um, thank you for your service. Um, both sides of the financial houses here, uh, the Congress and the, and the Fed, um, face a significant challenge. Um, we're both sort of on the hot seat. I uh, don't think it's appropriate for one to blame the other for the problem, and you haven't done that. Um, seems to be sometimes too much attention is focused on what the Fed should do when it's not within the Fed's purview of doing. It's in ours, and we're deflecting, uh, deflecting the blame, uh, blame over to you. Uh, nevertheless, you indicate in your opening statement here that, um, uh, and I quote, uh, the future course of federal fiscal policies remains quite uncertain. And that uncertainty is something we all hear as we go back to our states and talk to businesses and others. Um, it is pervasive uh, throughout industry, throughout business, throughout households. And uh, I guess the question is, how can we together work to eliminate some of that uh, uncertainty and restore confidence, not only in the investment market, but in the consumer uh, market? Uh, clearly, that would have a positive impact in terms of our going forward. You outlined four key objectives in that regard in your statement, and uh, one of which is, uh, as you described, putting together long-term, fiscally sustainable, credible plan. You state that what is before the Congress in terms of what has been done in August and what uh, the goals are uh, for the uh, super committee that's going to report in November uh, are far short of what we need to do. That's reinforced by the rating agencies. It's reinforced by uh, uh, the president. It's been reinforced by uh, uh, various um, economists and analysts saying generally anything short of $4 trillion in spending, viable spending cuts over a 10-year period of time is going to be inadequate uh, to regain that confidence and achieve the goal of a fiscally sustainable plan. My question to you is, uh, as others have suggested, you can't get there just with, to get that kind of a plan just through the spending cuts. You need uh, certain reforms in the system. Uh, one of which is entitlement reforms to mandatory spending, another which is comprehensive tax reform. My question is, how important is that to be part of a package that can be deemed what you would conclude to be um, uh, long-term, fiscally sustainable and credible? Um, do you have some comments and thoughts on that? Uh, yes. Um, so, so first, um, it would be a major achievement to have a credible plan that delivered uh, stability and sustainability over the next decade. And you, the numbers you gave, or I think the numbers the CBO and, and others have given as well. But as I was indicating, uh, for, for example, to Senator Klobuchar, um, the quality of the product also matters, not just the, the bottom line numbers. Um, in terms both of uh, economic efficiency and growth and in terms of certainty, um, reforming the tax code, for example, would be uh, very useful, very valuable. Um, I think everybody agrees that it's a very complex and in many ways kind of productive uh, system right now. Uh, and likewise, evaluating the quality of our programs, is it possible, for example, to uh, deliver um, health care uh, to senior citizens uh, at the same level with the same uh, quality uh, for less cost. I mean, those are some of the issues that, that we need to address. So I agree, the bottom line number is critical, but so is, you know, whether or not we achieve some clarity and some improvement in both the tax and spending programs. Now, some say this is not, uh, putting that comprehensive package together by the end of this uh, year, the Congress uh, voting forward, uh, voting on that and pushing it forward is not attainable, particularly in regards to the complexity of the entitlement the reform and the tax reform. And many suggest that, well, this is, uh, th these are elements, uh, uh, these are initiatives that ought to be started up in 2013. Can we wait till then? Well, Senator, you're a better judge than I am of how quickly this can be done uh, in, in Congress, but clearly the, uh, the sooner the better. Um, 2013 is a, a ways away. And at least uh, giving some indication of the directions that you're going and the broad ideas that you would be incorporating, I think, would be helpful. Uh, you state in your, in your uh, comments here that uh, these difficult and fundamental fiscal choices 
cannot be safely or responsibly postponed. I assume you stand by that. Yes, sir. And 2013, would that fall in that? Would you describe that as uh, something that's uh, safely and responsibly uh, done? Well, I would, I would like to see, I think we would all like to see as much progress as possible, and if that involves now um, laying out some plans and beginning the discussion, I think that would be very useful. Yeah, my own belief is that at least some strong indication with some enforcement mechanism is necessary in that package now in order to assure uh, the investment world and the consumer world that we're on the right path and therefore had the psychological effect of improving confidence and, and helping uh, move forward with some sustainable uh, measures. Thanks very much for your testimony Thank today. you. Thank you, Senator Coates. Representative Mulvaney. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Bernanke, um, as difficult as it is for two subjects,